that my Pocahontas? Grandmother Willow, I need to talk to you. Good morning, child. I was hoping you'd visit today. Oh, wow. Your mother's necklace? That's what I've been wanting to talk to you about. I've been having a dream. Oh, a dream. Let's hear all about it. Quiet! <laughs> now, child, you were saying... Well, my dream is that there's people wanting me to do a makeup tutorial, and I just... I just don't know what it means. If you listen, they will guide you. You think you own what a land you land on The earth is just a dead thing you can claim But I know every rock and tree and creature Has a life, has a spirit, has a name Well hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Pocahontas, and today's tutorial I will be showing all of you guys my makeup routine and following the colors of the wind. So sit back and relax and join me on a journey of my makeup routine. Alright everyone, let's go ahead and start today's tutorial. The first step for my look today will be my Photo Finish Smashbox Primer. I will begin by using just a pea size onto my hand and apply this to the rest, to the rest, no no no, to all of my face to make sure that it is nice and primed for foundation. The next step will be for me to take my Huda Beauty Concealer. This one is called Coconut Flakes. And I will be applying this to my eyelids as primer. Just a dot on both sides. I will begin patting the product in and really blending it out. On to the next eye. Now I don't have much time in the morning to get ready and really do my makeup the way I want to. So today we are going to do my simple eyeshadow look that I wear every single day. Starting with this light brown shade and a Morphe M573 brush, I'm going to begin by applying this to the corner of my eye and buffing and blending it all out. Now on to the other eye. I repeat these same steps. Fairly simple, so follow along guys. And just buff and blend it in circular motions. Once I went ahead and I blended it all out, the next step is going to be for me to blend and smoke just a little bit of that chocolate shade as my eyeliner to enhance my eye shape. Now for this, I will be taking my Dose of Colors Little Tiny Blender Brush and going into that chocolate shade and applying just a small line from the corner of my eye, downward, to my lower lash line. Keeping the product just in that area that I applied it on. Adding just a tiny bit of product, I'm blending it all in. Once you are finished, I then repeat the same step onto the other side. Now I told you it was simple guys, this is the final makeup for the eyeshadow. The next step will be to clean up any excess fallout and then we are going to start my foundation. Just a swipe on both sides, and there you have it. The next step is going to be my foundation. Now this found. Now the next step is going to be my foundation, and I will be using Fenty Beauty. Now this is a long kept beauty secret for our tribe. It's told that it makes us look younger and more beautiful. So let's go ahead and show you how it's done. With just a pea size amount onto my hand, I take my damp beauty blender and I begin patting this around my face. It's the perfect amount of coverage and it really does make my skin look beautiful, supple, and flawless. I'm just tapping the product into my skin and making sure that I get rid of any blemishes that I might have. Now that I went ahead and I applied my foundation, I will be taking my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast. Toast is going to contour my face and make it look beautiful and chiseled. John Smith says I have quite the bone structure. Taking a little bit of this product, I'm going to begin sculpting out my cheekbones, my lips, my jawline, and the rim of my forehead. I'm going to begin blending this in. 
on my jawline, around my lips, and on the rim of my forehead as well. Now it's on to concealer. And for concealer, I'll be using the same shade that I used on my eyelids to really just counteract any darkness I have under my eyes and make me look nice and awake. So applying the Huda Beauty Concealer under my eyes, just like that, on the sides of my nose, as well as the bridge, the chin, and onto the other side. I'll be taking my Dead Beauty Blender once again, and I will blend it all out. I'm just tapping the product underneath my eye and really giving me that beautiful, nice highlight. Before I finish off the rest of this tutorial, I want you to stop what you're doing right now and I want you to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the link down below and subscribe so that you guys can see more fun tutorials. Now after I went ahead and I blended out that concealer, I think it's time for us to set our makeup. For my bright under eye highlight, I like to use my banana powder. It is made of bananas that have been dried up and all of the powder is collected by our tribe and placed in this little jar. I'm going to begin packing it to all the places that I highlighted. So my under eyes, onto my chin, the bridge of my nose, my lower forehead, and underneath my cheekbones. Alright guys, so while I bake my face, let's go ahead and check up on Nico. Nico, where are you? I have a trick for you. Oh, hello there Nico. Someone's eager to eat. Here's another treat for you. Say hi to the bear fam. All right, Nico, it's time for you to go take a nap while mama finishes her tutorial. Say bye, Nico. So now that I went ahead and I baked for just a couple of minutes, it is now time for me to take my Hula Bronzer. This is from Benefit Cosmetics and another one of my favorite brushes, a Real Techniques brush in the number 403. Just taking a little bit of this, I'm going to use this to sculpt and shape my face. One of the most important parts of my tutorial when I do my makeup. Just going in and blending the contour out into the cheekbone and really defining my face. Don't forget the lower jawline as well. The rim of the forehead. After I went ahead and I've sculpted out my cheekbones, I like to do a little bit of a nose contour. But for that, I do have a tutorial showing you guys step by step how to accomplish it. All you have to do is click this link right up here and to watch my step by step guide. I'll see you guys in a second after I contour my nose. Alright guys, now that I went ahead and I contoured my nose, the next step is for me to take my Tarte palette and take this soft pink blush and apply it onto my cheekbones. For this, I will be using a BH number no. 2 brush and I'm going to begin by applying a generous amount onto my cheek area and buff it into my contour. Don't be afraid of blush, it is what makes this look pop and makes your cheekbones look extravagant. Alrighty guys, now that I've gone ahead and I finished off the blush, the next step is going to be for me to work on my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I like them to have just a bit of a red tone. I will be going into my Morphe, this is my 35B palette, and taking this light chocolatey red shade, and I'm going to use this color for my eyebrows. Taking a Dose of Colors little angled brush, I'm going to begin by applying this color onto my brows and shaping and sculpting them. Starting with the lower part of my brow, I'm slightly filling in the hairs and making sure that it looks nice and put together. Now I don't want to bore you guys, so I'll go ahead and speed through this process and show you guys the final look once my eyebrows are filled in. Now that I went ahead and I applied my eyebrows, the next step is going to be my mascara. And today I'll be using my Big Monsieur Lancome Mascara and applying this to my lashes. Just applying a small thin coat on both sides as well as onto the bottom lashes. Alright guys, for today's lashes, I will be taking these bad boys right here. And these are a pair of Violet Boss lashes and they're very natural looking. I will be applying these to my lash line to create just a little bit of dimension. Now here is what it looks like once I went ahead and I applied the lashes onto my lash line. As you can see, very subtle but just makes everything pop and come together. Now the final and last step to my makeup tutorial will be my lips. And this is one of my favorite parts of my tutorial. 
So to finish off this look, I will be taking my Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner and applying this all over my lips. I will also use this to outline them and define and shape them. Now after I have gone ahead and I've lip lined my lips, I will go ahead and take a MAC lipstick in the shade A Girl's Got Needs. Applying this all over my lips. Alrighty guys, so here is the final glam look of my Pocahontas makeup tutorial. I hope all of you guys liked today's tutorial and you found it easy and simple so you too can get my look. I also want to give a huge post notification shout out to my girl, Diana Sanchez. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on and for being so kind and so sweet. And if you want a post notification shout out, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and comment when done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's tutorial don't forget to like share comment and as always guys hit that subscribe button and I will see all of you guys in my next tutorial bye guys